Heracles. Chapter 5 But Hercules didn't stop at that point. He kept on fighting with even more energy. He swung his club with renewed determination. Every swing was careful and aimed to chop off the terrible heads that were menacing him. However, something peculiar began to occur. For every head he managed to sever, two new heads sprouted in its place. It was like a strange and eerie dance of rebirth as if the creature could never truly be conquered. As the intense battle raged on, Hercules realized that he wasn't just up against physical strength, he also needed to strategize. The situation was tough. But Hercules' determination burned even brighter. His eyes shone with a fierce resolve. Like a beacon of hope amidst an apparently insurmountable opponent. Amidst the chaos, Hercules stood tall and unyielding. He faced a tremendous challenge, a fearsome hydra that could regenerate its heads, and a colossal crab armed with mighty claws. Yet, despite the daunting odds, Hercules remained unyielding. He swung his powerful club with all his might, striving to conquer both the hydra and the crab. Hercules had a steadfast companion named Eolaus at his side. Eolaus was swift and clever, contributing significantly to the battle. He moved nimbly, evading the crab's massive claws, thus providing Hercules with maneuvering space. During the heat of the conflict, Hercules grasped a vital truth about the Hydra. It could sprout new heads even after he severed them. Thus, he devised a plan. Drawing from ancient tales, he understood that he needed to do more than merely cut off the heads. He had to prevent their regrowth. Eolaus comprehended the strategy as well. Hercules and Eolaus collaborated seamlessly. While Hercules engaged the Hydra head on, Eolaus started across the battlefield like lightning. Targeting the crab's vulnerable spots. His diversionary tactics occupied the crab, affording Hercules a window to strike. Hercules swung his club, severing the Hydra's heads, and Eolaus promptly cauterized the stumps to thwart regrowth. This cooperative endeavor proved effective. The Hydra encountered greater difficulty in reviving. The Mammoth Crab, however, remained a concern. Its imposing pincers posed a threat to Hercules. Yet, Hercules displayed cunning. He moved swiftly, evading the crab's assaults. Recognizing that the crab's size carried vulnerabilities, Hercules maneuvered behind it and assaulted its weak points with his club. Hercules and Eolaus continually adapted their strategy. They moved in concert, gracefully transitioning between the hydra and the crab. Their coordination was akin to a well choreographed dance. Each move complementing the other. Despite fatigue setting in, Hercules pressed on, fighting vigorously, swinging his club, and maintaining high spirits. 
in the climactic moment of the battle. Hercules displayed remarkable bravery. He cleverly provoked a confrontation between the crab and the hydra, causing the enormous claws of the crab to clash with the sinuous bodies of the hydra. This created a moment of confusion for both creatures, providing Hercules with a perfect opportunity to execute his final move. Drawing upon his last reserves of strength, Hercules delivered a decisive blow to the Hydra, severing its ultimate head, while Leolaus prevented its regeneration. The one immortal head of the Hydra was cleanly cut off using a golden sword gifted to Heracles by Athena. Heracles then placed this still living and writhing head beneath a massive rock along the sacred path between Lerna and Elaeus. With the triumphant defeat of the Hydra, Hercules shifted his attention to the crab, employing clever tactics to disable its menacing claws. The threat posed by the crab was swiftly neutralized. As they stood side by side, Hercules and Eolaus were visibly exhausted, but their joy and satisfaction were evident. They had emerged victorious against overwhelming odds. Their collaboration blending Hercules' mighty strength with Eolaus' sharp intellect to secure their triumphant outcome. Chapter 6 In a last attempt to stop Hercules, the angry goddess Hera used her magic to turn the creatures he defeated into stars in the night sky. She changed the scary Lernian Hydra and the huge crab into constellations, which are groups of stars that form pictures. The creature that caused problems for Hercules and scared people became the Hydra constellation. Its snake like heads, which used to be scary, now shine like faraway stars in the sky. They look like twisted shapes spread across the big sky. Hera wanted everyone to remember Hercules' hard time. So she put the Hydra in the sky to always remind everyone. The big crab, which Hera sent to make Hercules fight harder, became the Cancer constellation. Its huge pincers, which used to be dangerous, now sparkle like stars. They show how Hera tried to trick Hercules and make his task tough. This was Hera's way of making sure everyone would remember Hercules' adventures, even when they looked at the stars. She wanted them to see the Hydra and the Crab and remember the challenges Hercules faced. After Hercules defeated the Lernian Hydra and the scary mist went away, he had a clever idea. He realized that the Hydra's poison could be useful. Even though the poison was dangerous, Hercules thought he could use it as a strong weapon. Hercules was careful and collected the poison in containers. He made sure it was safe. Before, the poison was a danger to him, but now he controlled it and had a plan. This was a smart move that would help him a lot in the future. Hercules understood that the poison could be turned into something good. He dipped his arrows in the poison. This made the arrows really powerful and dangerous. Now. When he shot these arrows, they could hurt enemies badly. This change in the poison was important for Hercules. It showed how he could use a problem to his advantage. He was good at using hard things to make things better. This showed how skilled he was at solving problems and turning them into victories. In the battles ahead, 
Hercules' poison arrows were a reminder of his ability to beat challenges. Every arrow he shot could defeat even the strongest enemies. This showed how determined he was and how good he was at facing tough things. But some people didn't believe in Hercules' achievement against the Hydra. One person. Eurystheus. Who gave Hercules his tough tasks. Didn't think it was fair. He said Hercules shouldn't get credit because he got help from his nephew. Eolaus. Eurystheus thought that made the task too easy. And he wasn't sure if Hercules really did a good job. However, most people in the stories about Hercules disagreed with Eurystheus. They still thought Hercules was really brave and strong. Even if he got some help, his great deeds deserved praise. The stories of Hercules' adventures kept telling everyone how strong and brave he was. No matter what anyone said. Thanks for watching. Learn English through Greek and Roman mythology.